for cleaning the sky after the floor and after. And so are you tired of seeing the old same sky all the time in your videos? So let's jump to the CapCut and change it. It's okay, it can be replaced. Now go to CapCut and here create a new project. And I have all these videos and pictures. You can download it, all this material from the Pexels.com. It's completely free. And these are royalty free things. So just import this one to your timeline. And here we go. We have a video here. And we want to change the sky color maybe for this video. That's it. And now what kind of you know sky you need here instead of these dark things. You can bring this sky here. And now grab this picture up to the end of your timeline and it's bigger so adjust it accordingly. By staying on this picture go to normal and now you just click on overlay and it has done pretty much good job as I move but you know we still need to fix something here. We put it up to the sky area like this one and now you come on the video and that's it. So now just click on the video and go to adjustment layer. Here you need to increase the brightness of your video. This time you need to be on video, remember that. So you increase up to 25, I guess like 25 is okay. And this contrast and highlights, the highlights you can decrease all the way and shadows up to 15, that's all right, up to 15. And look, now this has changed the sky color. This was method number one to change. And if you want to add some stars or some lights, if I drag this one here, this is the original sky. If I play this video and you will see, boom, it changed. Uh, let's say like we have a light here, this one, and we want to bring this one here as well. Here uh, we can do one thing like I'm gonna take it normal. You just stay on the light here and go to this one and you can change into soft light or hard light. So hard light would be like this one but you can change it into a soft light and now if you place it anywhere like this one the star is like that and boom here you go. If you play this one, it would be like this one. It appears here, there is a star. And you can drag it up to the end of your timeline um, to make it, you know, more realistic. For this picture, you can also choose this option here as screen. So you press this one and it will be like that screen. So you can change the opacity here, like if you want more brighter and more darker, as you can see it's quite okay here as well like wanna make it like this one at this side and that's okay and now we need to change another thing show a light or something it's coming from the sky if we want to try this one then just stay on this one and then go to normal and try applying different filters here as it can be like dodge would be like this one this right so if you dodge this one and it would be uh, like that and you can copy this one copy and paste and make it anywhere you want to change this one to anywhere you can bring it here and rotate it like this one it's coming from the both sides like this one you can place over like this yeah let's say like you want to apply another effect instead of this one you can if you choose the screen then it's same like the previous one and it will come like boom coming here and disappearing that's pretty awesome and you can also do for the moon as well if you go to this one and go to screen and you see the moon is here so that's pretty much done you can do a lot of things in method number one and now we will jump to the method number two oh, sorry if this video is long but method number two is a bit complicated but very easy as well. If you understood then that's gonna be awesome. So stay tuned in this video and subscribe if you didn't subscribe my channel so that I can bring a lot of good stuff for you. So the next procedure is quite simple. You drag any video to your timeline and maybe you wanna change this color or maybe another one. So I'm gonna drag these two one. This one are dangerous sky. 
All right, so once this one is here, you just go to video section and basic and rescale this one up to this timeline. That's okay. Stay on the timeline, go to mask and go to this one, film strip, and your mask is divided into two parts. And I'm gonna increase a little bit down there, like this one. That's okay. And here you can change the feathers as well. I'm gonna give a little bit of feathers so that it would be adjusted accordingly. Later is fine. Okay. So once you are done here, now you just can go back and see. This is the result. But if you want to make it moving sky, so you can also go back and make some animations here. A first keyframe and use like this one make it smaller bigger something like that you can move it will look like more realistic if you give these keyframes because the downside is moving and the other part of that video is also moving so you can move this one according to your own requirements all right so that's it this is also moving as the clouds were moving so now for this one you can also do these same things gotta rescale this one first mask and split and make it like here and now give some feathers here right now it's done you play the video in the meantime you can export you know this is method number three let's say i need this kind of sky here so i can import this video instead and bring it down there and now we have that video you can go to video mask and split this one and we will choose only the sky this one and give some feathers let's see this is new sky i hope you like this video if you didn't subscribe my youtube channel then do it today then i would need your support so i'll see you in the next one with a clear sky bye bye